Hi there, this is Steve. This is part two of the Duramax debacle. I bought four of these motors, and of the four, three of them have broken down. The first two, uh, the first one broke its uh, gasoline motor mounts on the cast iron or the cast aluminum block that they sit on, and I'm going to have to have it welded into place. Now, I will say that Duramax Corporate, who sold these to me, uh, did end up sending me a brand new gas tank. Oh, wait a minute. It's not new. It's a used one. And they sent me the fuel line, too, because it broke that. You can see right here, it's all dented. Brand spanking new from the uh, factory. So they must have sent me somebody's used. But at least all of the mounts are intact. And there's four of them. You can see them there on the bottom, one of my thumb, where my thumb is, and the other one over here, and then this one and this one. Though at least they're all four intact, unlike the other one, which broke three out of the four mounts within an hour of use. Now, in part two here, what I'm highlighting is the key box. The key box is on these both, <laughs> from all the vibration, broke off away from the from their mounts, and we're we're facing forward and down to the bottom of the trailer bed. So when I called Duramax, they said, oh, well, the uh, key box is screwed directly into the cast iron or the cast aluminum block of the, of the engine, which, as you can tell, is not true because, and I'm sorry that I can't show this very well because I'm trying to maneuver the camera here. Um, Right here is where my mechanic drilled a hole and mounted it directly into this cast aluminum, uh, the block. He did that. It's good and solid. Here's where the previous screw was, and it went through a curve like this and a little piece there. So uh, you can tell that the folks that sell Duramax here in the U.S. don't know what they're talking about. Uh, it, the exact same thing happened on the other engine over there, and you can see it's the same type of setup where the mounts are for the screw if this picture comes through. So anyway, it'll be interesting to see what Duramax Corporate uh, in California has to say about this debacle. Alrighty, have a good day.